I go to my roads mode file, select road file, and in this case, I'm going to use road 20. You can design up to 2,500 roads in a single project inside Civil Designer. I'm going to go and select a template that has no right hand side information because I'm going to be right up against the existing main road. If I've already got my CAD elements to use my design, I could use the regression function. In this case, I want to go into more detail as far as the design is concerned. I go to Horizontal, Graphical Insert. Changing my snap mode and using my keyboard shortcuts, I'm then go to the beginning of my road. Go up against the existing road and left click. Calling the start of my road. And then I need to point out that we do give you the option to start the stake line extraction from CAD. Now you could either do this now or you could do it at a later stage. I'm going to do it at a later stage where I'll explain what the functionality does. Moving up the road. Going towards the end of the road. And then call this PI end. And while I'm here, I also have the option of specifying my previous PI curve radius. Because my road expert is switched on, if I go and press escape, you'll see that Civil Designer goes through the design process for me. There you can see what the road looks like. It starts next to the existing main road. Then there's a gap and then we're ending it on the top there. First of all, looking at the horizontal alignment, if I go to my roads control panel and I select extract strings, automatically there's a stake line option. But at this stage, we don't have any additional information. I then go to alignment, horizontal, edit alignment. This is where we went and put in our PI points. Using this new road rehabilitation functionality, I'm going to go and extract from CAD. In that case, it means I can extract information from a CAD entity and use it for the horizontal design. I'm going to, in this case, be doing it from the start point to PI1. Closing the horizontal alignment spreadsheet. I go back to my roads control center and you see I've got additional information now. I've got state line start to PI1. If I go to the icon and I left click, I'm going to go and specify I want to extract the road entities for the state line extraction. Zooming in so that you can see where I'm clicking, I left click on the existing road. Civil Designer then picks up that this existing road is called Segment 1, A13. And it gives me the option to select any string associated to the road. In this case, I'm then going to select Left Road Edge. Click on the green tick. Once I've done that, I can then go and right click and extract string. Go back to the control center. You'll see that it's highlighted in red. If I go and click on it, on the plan view, that particular string is highlighted for confirmation. I'm happy with it. I can then go and right click and recalculate road. In that case, it's taken the new road width and put it right next to the main road. At this stage, our horizontal alignment is done. Let's see what that looks like in cross section format. I'm going to select the new road, right click, Road Operations, Cross Section. And then you go and click on the Cross Section Position. So here you can see the new road we've designed and the existing main road. If you don't see the existing main road in your design, you could then go to your display settings and go and select Strings Model. Pressing page down on my keyboard, I can see in the plan view the position of my cross section and then actually looking at the cross section, you'll see that new road and the existing main road has a height difference. So we need to look at the vertical alignment next. 
closing the cross section. I'm going to my display settings and I'm going to turn on the contours for our new road. And here I can go and specify which settings to use for my road contours. So there you can see that your contours aren't quite lined up. Selecting my road again, right click, road operations, vertical alignment. If I were to move this down, you can see there's a cross in the plan view and it indicates the position in your long section. At approximate change of 430, I want to go and insert a vertical PI point. I could either do this graphically by right clicking. Alternatively, I can go to the spreadsheet, insert a new row and then manually type in the exact change and level. I'm going to use 30 as a rounded off level so that you can see how it gets updated when I use this road rehab functionality. Again, I'm going to go and turn on extract from CAD. In that case, I'll be using a CAD entity for my vertical alignment design from change 0 to change 430. Closing the spreadsheet and saving it. Once my vertical alignment has been updated, you will see that I still don't have my contours aligned. I still need to go back to the roads control panel and there you can see that the vertical alignment information has been updated. I can, like I did before for the stake line, go and select the icon, specify the target entities as the road string, picking up the vertical alignment from the road string. Zooming in so you can see where I'm clicking. Left click. Again, Civil Designer picks up that I've clicked on the road called Segment 1A13. It gives me all the strings associated with that road. I'm then going to select the left road edge. Click on Select. Right click, Extract the string. And then going back to the Control Panel. I can go and click on it. It goes and highlights what I've selected for confirmation. I can go and right click and recalculate the road. It goes through the design process and once it's done, you'll see that my vertical alignment has been aligned with the existing road. There you can see my contours have been updated. If I were to select our new road again, go and right click, select cross sections. The elevations are now correct. And as the road splits, you might want to go and select a new template. We still need to go and finish the vertical alignment design. So in doing so, I go to Alignment, Vertical, Edit Alignment. I could do things graphically over here. So even though Civil Design has gone and inserted the appropriate vertical alignment, I can still go and right click, select, edit PI point. So if need be, I can go and make changes here. We also give you the option to switch on that CAD extraction over here if you didn't want to do it inside the spreadsheet. But in my case, I'm going to go to the spreadsheet option. I've already done the vertical alignment. So I'm going to save time. I'm going to right click and go and select read CSV file. Now this could be a, a file that you've already done in Excel, for instance. Going back to the graphical view, you can see what it looks like. Right, closing that, saving it. Civil Designer will go through the design process for me. And my vertical alignment is 